Hi everyone, it's so good to see you today. I want to talk to you about being a true friend. A true friend is somebody who is going to give it to you straight. They're not always going to agree with you and they're going to tell you the truth whether you want to hear it or not. Sometimes we don't want to hear the truth. We want somebody to say, oh, it's okay, I agree with you. No, because we're not always right. As a matter of fact, we miss the mark and we're going to miss it in this life, which is why you need a true friend. And scripture actually talks about that. In Proverbs 17, 17, it says, A true friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity, meaning that a friend who is like a brother will be there in times of trouble. Proverbs 18, 24, A man that has friends must show himself to be friendly, and there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. They're always going to be there. They always have your back. They always are going to be there in the time of need. They are a good friend. And then Proverbs 27, 17 says, Iron sharpens iron, so is a man who sharpens the countenance of his friend. And I'm going to tell you things that, that you're not necessarily going to like. I'm going to speak truth into you because you deserve the truth. But if we don't have the truth, we can't, we can't see outside of our perspective. We can't see outside of, but, 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 it's not that way. We need to know that we have each other's backs. And when I talk to you about certain things, especially when it comes to scripture, especially when it comes to who Jesus is, especially when I talk about the Bible, I know that sometimes I talk to people and they just automatically tune me out. They listen out of courtesy, but they're not listening because they, they look at me and they go, Sarah, the Bible's archaic. Didn't anybody tell you that this stuff just isn't, isn't true anymore? No, it is true because it stands and it has stood the test of time forever. The Word of God does not change. It is the same yesterday, today, and forever because God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And there's going to be times you're going to come to me and say, but this is what I believe. Well, I understand, but you know what my stance is, right? You know how I'm going to answer you. I'm going to come back with the Word of God. And the reason that I do that is because, one, it keeps us both rooted and grounded. Two, it's what he says. And I'm going to agree with God, whether it makes sense, whether it's in the culture, whatever the case may be, I'm going to say, if God says this, then that's what it means. I'm not choosing any other side. I'm not going to say, oh, well, you know, maybe. No, if God says these things, he says it for a reason. And he says it for us so that we can be free. He doesn't want us bound to go, yeah, but the Bible's full of a lot of no's. Don't do this. Don't do that. I mean, seriously, Sarah, why would you talk to me about these things when they're just ridiculous? Well, let me ask you something. You have children. Most people have children. And aren't there things that you correct them on? Aren't there things that you say, no, don't do that? No, I don't want you hanging out with that person. The reason I don't want you hanging out with the person is because they're involved in this, 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 and this. And you're, I don't want to have to come to the jail and bail you out because you hung out with that person. Or don't go down that path because they do drugs. Don't go down that path because mm, there's something shady about them. Well, does that make you a bad parent? No. But the kids sometimes rebel against that, right? They rebel and go, ah, oh, you just don't want me having fun. Dad, you don't want me having fun. I, 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 I want to go and enjoy myself. Don't you trust me? It's not that I don't trust you. You, I just don't trust that person. Now, if you want to go to the movies and hang out with some people, there's some people that I'll be happy to drive you to the theater with, okay? You guys can go hang out at the movies, get some popcorn, get some snacks. I, I don't care. But I don't want you going with that person because there's something about that person that isn't right. And God's Word does that. He shows us right from wrong because He loves us. He says, we don't act that way. As a matter of fact, in our house, this is how we act. And I expect you to meet this level of excellence. But the world says, ah, oh, it's too high. We can't meet that level of excellence. Are you kidding me? I mean, really, who really lives this way anymore? Well, if you love God, then you do and you obey his words. Just like your parents when they corrected you when you were younger, and if you loved your parents, you did what your parents said to do. Why? Because you respected them. You honored them. It's no different. 
But the problem is that people look at society and go, well, that's just not what society is right now. I don't care. When I was a teenager, it's not like it is now, obviously. But my parents would say, ah, ha, ha, no. We don't act that way. We don't talk that way. We don't speak that way. I, I don't care if they all decide to go jump off a cliff. You're not going with them, okay? Uh-uh. It's not how it's going to be because you're in my house and these are my rules. Well, I'll wait till I'm 18 and I'm going to go do whatever I want to do because then you can't tell me what to do because I'll be an adult. That's rebellion. And when we look into God's Word and we see something that we... It, it goes against the grain. It goes against it goes against culture. It goes against what everybody else is talking about. Sometimes we want to rebel against that word. And I, as your friend, want to say to you, don't rebel against that word. There's a reason that that's there. It's for your protection. It's for you to become a mature, understanding grown-up. And God wants us to be that way. He wants us to grow up in Him. Now, does it mean that there aren't still, still things that are going to be thrown at us? Of course. We hear it every day. We hear things. We see things every day. But if we focus on them and we're not focused on him, then what happens is is that we begin to waver in our thinking. And God doesn't want us to do that. He goes, my word is truth. It is life. My, my ways and my thoughts may be higher than yours, but we can still seek him out. We can still learn what these things mean. And he wants us to. So as your friend, I'm going to tell you things that eh, you may not want to hear. As your friend, I'm going to probably not agree with you sometimes. And you're going to have to understand it's because I'm taking everything that the Lord has given me through his word and I'm going to apply it. And I'm ask, I ask for God for wisdom every day. I ask him for grace. I ask him for understanding. I ask him for discernment. I ask him to teach me so that when I come up against certain situations and things, I can give good counsel when I need to. If that counsel isn't going to be received, that's on them. But I'm not going to necessarily automatically agree because it makes you feel good. I am going to give you things that will help you become a better person because I love you. I love you. And God loves you more than I do. He loves you so much. That's why he gave us his written word. And like I said, if you don't understand it, it's okay. Ask questions. If you don't agree with it, ask why. Ask the Holy Spirit to teach you. Because he teaches us on such a, simplific, such a simplistic level that everybody can understand what he teaches. Because he meets us where we are. So I want to encourage you today. If you are my friend, and I'm assuming you are, then know that there's many times I'm going to disagree with you, but that's okay. I'm going to love you anyway. I'm going to help you any way that I can. I'm going to bless you because you're my friend. And yes, there's times I'm going to give you the Word of God because His Word is so much better than my own. So be encouraged today. Know that you are loved, that you are important, and I am going to be in your corner because that's what a true friend is. And just like iron that sharpens iron, we're going to become better people because we're loved by the Holy God of glory. And He wants us to be the best versions that we can be for His glory and honor. Thank you for joining us today. Until I see you again, please go forth in Christ and prosper. Be blessed.